If you haven't heard, Haley Deegan is stepping up to the Xfinity Series next season. I think this is something a lot of people wanted to see despite her lackluster results in the Truck Series. In her lone Xfinity start last season in Las Vegas, she brought home a 13th place finish driving the 07 car for a mid-pack team that probably had some equipment help from Stuart Haas and Ford, as she is their main development driver right now. However, this result has led to a lot of people getting the idea that her strengths as a driver would translate more in the Xfinity Series rather than the Truck Series. As one comment on Reddit put it, the Xfinity Series cars seem to suit her driving style better than the truck do based on her start in the 07 last year. To add on, also look at how well she did in K&N and how well she's done in SRX, both are series that like Xfinity, they are not running full throttle for the full lap, every lap, like they have to do in trucks. She seems to do better in cars that she actually has to drive and not just be wide open the whole time. This is going to be a make or break season for her I think, gotta show some promise for sure. Being the daughter of Brian Deegan, it's not really a big surprise that she's really good on dirt. Those were her best results in what is now the Arca West series. Being from that background, it's believed that she'd do much better in a high horsepower platform. Due to the constant restricting of engine power in modern day NASCAR, she's basically in the wrong era. For her sake though, the Xfinity series is the closest we're going to get to a high horsepower low downforce package in NASCAR these days. So is it true that she will actually be a better Xfinity driver than truck series driver? Is there any precedent for that? The truck series is the complete opposite of what drivers like Deegan need. Spec engines and the aerodynamic nature of the truck bodies lends itself to being like slot car racing on tracks a mile and a half and longer. If you go back and look, most of Deegan's best results in the trucks come either at short tracks, dirt tracks, or road courses. Tracks that require a good level of car control. I'd argue that she has looked her best in the SRX series. Racing Tony Stewart for the win at Eldora is impressive no matter the circumstances. Unfortunately, she just gets eaten alive on the intermediates. A lot of her so-called bad luck is not being quick enough at those tracks to get away from the clowns that race in the truck series today. I'm not going to name names, but if you've followed that series over the past three seasons, you know who I'm talking about. Her situation in the truck series reminds me of the 2008 Dover Cup race where Tony Stewart got caught up in the big one caused by Elliot Sadler. Then in the interview, Tony sarcastically blamed himself for causing the wreck by being within a half lap of Sadler. Tony, obviously a lot of hard luck these last couple of weeks. This is very early in the race to have it happen again. Go ahead and give us your take what happened. Uh, it's, I take 100% responsibility. It's my fault for being even that we're anywhere close to Elliott. So uh, you know, if I'm within a half lap of him, I'm, that's, I expect that to happen. So uh, it's my fault. I mean, I'm, I'm the one that hit him. So um, when I hit him, it caused all the guys behind us to wreck. So it's uh, my fault. It's really hard to defend her though when you consider that she drives for Thor Sport, a mainstay of the truck series and probably the series best team overall, and her old team Tricon Garage currently is leading the points with Corey Heim, so it shows that she is in good equipment. I get that a lot of drivers take time to develop and aren't sensations out of the gate like Kyle Busch, hell I did a whole video on that topic, but having roughly the same average finish year in and year out is a tough sell for any driver trying to come up through the ranks. Another comment I found summed up the conundrum here. While there are some people rooting for her to fail, I personally feel that failing upward and lots of media attention rubs people the wrong way. She is the only driver in the top 3 series that has never finished in the top 5 that fans on social media will make excuses for left, right, and center. When you go to talk about her flaws and what she does well, you get filler sentences like, the field is too immature for her without providing specific facts or examples like, the Xfinity car matches her strong suits. It really is just speculation that she fits in the Xfinity cars better. We have a sample size of one race. And while it may be true that a lot of the guys in the trucks she races against are immature and have zero talent, she's not exactly innocent in some of these incidents. You'd hope that the field spread in Xfinity gives her more breathing room just to log laps and gain experience. However, unlike in the truck series, she won't be in elite equipment in Xfinity. Driving for AM racing is going to be tough, their Xfinity program is still new. Brett Moffat currently drives for them and has an average finish this season of 17th. Now Moffat is someone who I consider a good solid driver, a former truck series champion. It's going to be an uphill climb for Deegan regardless of the, if the Xfinity car suits her better or not. If she was going to be driving for Gibbs or Junior Motorsports, I'd have a more positive outlook on next season. But Ford has not invested in the Xfinity series the way Toyota and Chevy have. There's not going to be other teams to work with. Hell, she might not even have a teammate because AM Racing said they're still searching for funding to keep Moffat in the 25 car. So if funding doesn't materialize, she either won't have a teammate, or her teammate will be another pay driver that doesn't contribute anything to the team besides bank deposits. The other elephant in the room is what happens if she actually does well in Xfinity. 
then there will be calls for her to get a cup ride. But the next gen cars are trending more and more towards low horsepower and high downforce, like the trucks are, with even more grip due to the larger profile tires. NASCAR, in an attempt to entice OEMs to join, something they have completely failed at by the way, neutered the cup cars so much that I'd argue that the truck series is a better training ground for cup than Xfinity. Just look at Carson Hosevar in the 42 cup car. He has a handful of Xfinity starts and has done way better in cup than Noah Gragson did driving for four years in Xfinity beforehand. Historically, I'm struggling to find anyone that did better in the second tier series than trucks. Guys like William Byron, Carl Edwards, Greg Biffle all did great in both. And a lot of guys in the 2000s like Kyle Busch, Clint Boyer, and Martin Truex Jr. skipped the truck series entirely. If I could pick out anyone who might have a case for being better in an Xfinity or the Busch series, I'd argue for Tyler Reddick and Kevin Harvick. Although in both their cases they were super young and inexperienced with trucks and drove better equipment in Xfinity. While still young, Deegan will be driving worse equipment in Xfinity. I am rooting for her, but it's going to be a tough jump up. We simply can't ignore that the results haven't been there. If they had been, other teams further up the grid in Xfinity or even Cup teams would have been wanting to sign her for next year. What do you guys think? Will she do better in Xfinity or will her truck results carry over to the next level? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.